Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be taking a look at the Galaxy's Edge Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon from the Vintage Collection today. I uh, just picked this up for a really, really good deal um, from a from a like, friend uh, who was able to, you know, looking to get rid of it. Um, didn't just didn't have the space for it anymore, and uh, yeah, it was a price I really couldn't couldn't go past. So. I did have the uh, Legacy Collection one um, in the past. It was incomplete, um, and I did sell that one. So it's been a couple of years without a Falcon, um, but yeah, really glad to have have one back in the collection. I I, I forgot how big it was. Um, you know, <laughs> hold the Chewy up to it, and you can just sort of see how big this is. So I'm going to do my best to go over it. Um, we'll start with the top. This is what we've got here are um, a couple of different elements from the old one. So what used to be the uh, on and off switch is now um, it take you to the original trilogy version. So it does make sounds and effects and everything. So we'll stick with that. Uh, you can switch out the radar dish to have the sort of um, original trilogy version or the uh, Sort of Force Awakens uh, Last Jedi version, which I have here, which is cool. So I just wanted a little point of difference. Um, so yeah, we've got some effects buttons here. We're losing a deflector shield. Hold crap yourselves in. I'm going to make the jump to light speed. You're all clear, kid. Let's blow this thing and go home. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Come on, come on. Switch over. Let's hope we don't have a burnout. It may not look like much, but you've got it where it counts, kid. So yeah, some cool sounds. I'm not going to play them all. Um, Hold them off. Angle the deflector shield while I charge up the main guns. A few more buttons around the place. Chewy growling. <laughs> and some flight, flight sounds for this beast. Uh, over here, there is a little which does flick the uh, turret aside. And it does flick out the missiles, which is something that's really annoying to me. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, a couple more buttons over here. That's all internals. So we'll take a look at the insides momentarily. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? But yeah, again, if I switch over... So now we should have the Galaxy's Edge Smuggler's Run version. So you can hear the voice of Hondo. Make the jump to light speed. Things are getting too hot. We've got to get out of here. Of course, it does come with the uh, Hondo Onaka figure, which I don't know if it's any different to the single carded release. Um, I don't believe so. Um, but yeah, that's it's a nice figure. I have reviewed this one in the past. So if I remember, I'll um, put a link if you want to have a closer look at the figure. Also comes with a cool version of Chewbacca. Um, interesting head sculpt. I think that's off of the 5 POA, but it's uh, definitely on the sort of legacy collection, uh, you know, Chewie that's been used for three and three quarter inch for the last umpteen years. Um, but yeah, a nice, a nice addition. Another Chewy, which is never a bad thing. And we get not one, not two, not three, not four. Who is six Porgs? Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's kind of cool. Oh, I'm a fan of the Porgs, so that works out well. Some of them are diff painted slightly differently. Um, but yeah, it's cool. There is one. Where was the one? There was one with a full orange face. There it is. So yeah, cool, awesome stuff. I like the Porgs. So yeah, I'm mean, just having a good look at all the details. I noticed straight away that, you know, not seeing this one in person until today, um, that it is a lot more weathered than the uh, than the original. The other one was a lot cleaner. Um, I'm not sure about like blast effects and things like that that have shown up, but it's definitely got that sort of 
sort of darker wash over it and you can sort of see the dirtiness of the panels there um, which is nice to be honest I, I think it looks a little better um, again not having the original one right next to me to to compare um, I feel like it looks pretty good going around the side I've literally got it on a guitar stand right now the cockpit up there we'll take it and have a look inside there a little bit more detail afterwards uh, there is a hatch on the side for the escape pod. Um, this is a plate piece that was missing from my Falcon um, that I had years ago. But um, yeah, let's flip around and have a look at the uh, underside. All right, here is the underneath. Um, nothing super duper to sort of show here, but it's nice to see they sort of continued the, that weathering, that wash over the Falcon on the underside. There you have the, the uh, speaker holes. Um, we do have the hatch, which I'm pressing the button, if I can find the button, the uh, landing hatch will come down and I can't find it, so no, we'll, we'll just leave it there for the moment. Um, but yeah, all the landing gear is in place, you know, that's, that's quite nice. Uh, again, they are as loose as the original they haven't done anything to really tighten them up a little a lot so they are uh, they're, they're there <laughs> and they are uh, you know if you've got it sitting on the thing and and you wobble it a little bit they, they're gonna buckle uh, the gun turret does move under here which is cool so that's nice there is this other pop out cannon here which looks like it will have a firing mechanism there is a little button there for a spring um, so that's cool. This is sort of underside cannon. Again, there's that side hatch. And while we're here, I might as well show you the uh, escape pod, which is no longer accurate. <laughs> Unless it's like a, uh, you know, you can get different versions of the escape pod for the vehicle. Um, but this is the one that was imagined up by Hasbro for the uh, 2007, uh, 2008 Legacy Collection Falcon and has since sort of changed a little bit thanks to uh, The Last Jedi. Um, has made the made it a little bit different, so it's cool. It's, but that's okay, you can just pretend it's a, you know, maybe after episode eight and this one was left aboard, they got a new one, who knows? Um, but that doesn't matter too much. Staying in there most of the time. So yeah, the uh, thing that I'm finding here is that there is no way to turn it off. Whereas I mentioned the last, the last one had the uh, on and off switch at the top, whereas this one swapped out for style. So there is no, um, there is no switching this thing off unless you take out the batteries, which I may end up having to do because um, I have heard this thing will just make noise when it wants to. But yeah, there's the bottom side looks good again all of these just pop out really easily just on a little joint um, I may even consider gluing them in I'm not going to be having this you know once I've got a place to display it it will be either sitting up like this on my um, spare guitar stand or it will be sort of sitting flat so I'm not gonna have this hanging up anywhere so I don't need the, uh, the flight gear to be you know absent so I'm happy to have it there but yeah, let's let's open up the insides and take a look. All right, here we are. We have removed the panels, um, so obviously that just sort of clips on there, and the other one will sort of just clip on there. So nice, nicely done. Uh, there is the and the button was on the side, not on the top, as I thought. Again, like I said, it's been a couple of years since I've had this thing. So yeah, we'll do a little fly around. Let's sort of see the door there that goes into the cockpit. That's just aesthetic. Um, cargo door there. Which is cool. Here, there is one of the secret hatches, which I was having a lot of trouble trying to get this open before because it's a really tight fit. 
So yeah, I'm not going to attempt that right now just because it's, you know, that's actually hurting my fingers to do that. So I'm not going to worry about that. There is another little hatch there in the sort of cabin. And here we have the, uh, the cool little pieces on the Dejaric board, which is nice. And also, you know, they're pet pieces I didn't have for the Falcon previously. We have the Death Star training remote for Luke. And yeah, that pivots around with the antenna so we can practice on that. No, I don't think that door opens. But yeah, there's some pegs in there so you can peg your figures in. There's nothing really going on in there. Seat. Cool, lots of cool details in here. Pipes and exposed wiring and all that kind of junk, which is nice. And here you can see the chair there for the gunner station. <laughs> Shoot missiles at me while I'm recording. <laughs> So let's try a couple of these. There we go, we've got some light up effects for the whole oh. chest. The last thing I want is to let another Rauta loose in here. <laughs> All right, my friends, we are cleared for takeout. So obviously switching it over to the original trilogy, we'll go back to those uh, Luke and Ben situations. All right, pre-flight diagnostics report. <laughs> But yeah, this is cool. I've, uh, you know, most of this stuff on the inside was missing on my old one. So it's nice. Let's have a look at the cockpit. And again, that does sort of just fall out, but that's okay. Yeah, it looks good. I like it a lot. Chairs do move back and forth, as they did previously. Just sort of clip on again. Yeah, my old one did that as well. It was just a, just the way it works. It's just a little bit. It's nice and tight once it's there. Little details in the top of the cockpit there, which is nice. Yeah, I do love this thing, the Falcon. So good. Loving it. Love having this ship back in my collection again. Um, let's try and put these parts on. So yeah, again, just locking in, popping down, getting these little parts to just sort of lock in. It's nice and sturdy. It's nice and natural on there as well. This side. tricky with one hand, but I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Almost there. There we go. The antenna dish was getting in the way. And this side's probably going to meant to go on first. Just because it does have that big lip, but that's okay. We got there eventually. We're almost there. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll put, pop that back in properly on the off camera. Oh no, I've nearly got it. There we go. That's on. Didn't have to do it off camera. So yeah, there we go. There is the BMF, the Big Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, based on its appearance at Galaxy's Edge. And let's sit it down for a good look. So it's going to do a little flyover and take a look. Some of the cool details. The weathering's really brought out on this thing. It's nice. Love the dish. Uh, it's full of 
disposable, flicks it around. Same with this one. Another look at the figures that come with it. The only problem is Hondo's trench coat sort of stops him from sitting nice and comfortably in, in the chair. Just quickly taking back that statement I said about Hondo before because he fits in there so well. You literally slip the back of the chair underneath his jacket. Uh, that's the coat sort of hangs over the back of the chair. Uh, if I'm going to chew it away, you get a good look at how that sort of works. And he sits in there really, really nicely once you get the seat shuffled forward, get his arms in the right spot. So yeah, really, really happy with that now. And uh, yeah, he'll definitely be uh, staying in there for now. I think that looks great. And uh, yeah, I'll put Chewie in there as well. And hang out co-pilot seat. Push him forward a little bit. It's okay, he's too long. Perfection. Orgs, son's one that just fell off. So there we have it, guys. The uh, vintage collection. Vintage collection. Uh, Smugglers Run Millennium Falcon. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this this video. I'm really excited to have this back in the collection. It is a uh, it is truly a nice piece of work. Um, you know have. It's, uh, you know, it was the sail barge and, and the razor crest before they were a thing. I feel like a Millennium Falcon in that scale would be even bigger than this. Um, so yeah, more than happy to have this in the collection. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. May the force be with you always.